The following video contains bad words, crazy violence, and downright ridiculousness. The individual's heard should not be listened to, and for that matter, probably not even let out of the house. No, but seriously, their curse words and gore. Your discretion is advised. Getting you out. Here, put this on. You'll need it. You could get into a lot of trouble for doing this. Not anymore. Things have changed. We better go. What about the other prisoners? We can't just leave them here. They're gone. Hoffman pardoned everybody. Is that right? Welcome back to the army, soldier. Shit. Let's go. Hey guys, I'm Silas TK, so let's play Gears of War. I have here with me... Phoenix. And we will be co-oping this... This... Monstrosity of a scene. And yes. the entire game. Don't forget, there's Elvis right here in oh, yeah. the corridors. Oh yeah, right before we started here, we noticed that, uh... How'd you zoom in on him? There we go. You hit L. Yeah. L stands for... Uh, left triggers for your zooming. Okay. <laughs> Um, but yeah, apparently there's a guy, either he had some explosive shit, or they got him while he's on the toilet. Both terrible ways to die. But anyway, let's, let's get this game going. You had a nice view of this guy. We've got two options. We can go back the way I came, through the guard's quarters, it takes time, but it's safe. Or we can go through the prison blocks and get right into the fight. Basically, Good this choice. tests to see if you've played this before. You can either go into combat if you know what you're doing, or you can take the training, which is longer, but it teaches you what to do and how to play the game. But we're not noobs, so we're going to go straight to the combat. Should be a contact right over there. What was that? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, wherever you see these big red Gears of War symbols with the skull in the middle of them, you usually find what are called cog tags. If you like collecting achievements, you can collect all those. Hold your fire. We are inside the prison. Over. And we're we're gonna try to get as many as we can, but we we don't know the exact locations of any of them. Command knew I was here to get you. Yeah. So we'll see how it goes. Come on, let's go. Open the Open the door. Oh shit! Ah, friends of our other prison mate. And you're gonna steal all the ammo again, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Lovely amounts, copious amounts of ammo. That guy's not gonna go to bed tonight. No way, no, he flew away. What's going on? Oh, enemies. Yeah, we're playing this on. Oh, jeez. Ah. You're already down. It's <laughs> a great way to start. I'm gonna go down too, watch. No, I got him. <laughs> you got him. We're moving to your location. Yeah, I'm, I'm more of an idiot. I run into battle. I love my shotgun. It is my best friend. Yet, I'm going probably to be dying a lot more than him, because my forte is not in shooters. There's grenades back here if you want them. How many? Or you can just take a bullet to the head, too. That works. <laughs> exactly what you I mean. You can pick me up. I can. But do I want to? Where are these grenades of yours? They're back where we came from. Oh, uh, a rock fell down. <laughs> Oh, damn it. Yeah, you uh, have this really cool thing that Gears of War is, has uniquely of. It's called Active Reload. Basically, you can speed up the reload of your weapon, and if you time it right, you can actually get a damage boost. I don't know how much of a damage boost it is, but it's uh, actually pretty nice. It's probably about 1.5. Yeah, I think it's about a 1.5 damage boost. Two would be a little much. Yeah. Let's see if you just time it right like that and get in that first bar, you can get upgraded damage, like you said. If you miss it and get in that second bar, I'll show you. You just get in that, oh, well, if you get into that second bar there, ah, uh, you'll reload fast where you won't get that damage boost. Otherwise, if you miss it, uh, we better take cover. Yeah, you might want to toss a grenade. You cross the grenade. Cross the grenade? Toss the grenade, I got it. You tossed it way too soon. I think I just helped him. Ready. Probably should switch back to a gun. Yeah, that would help. I kind of like the hammer burst. I don't just fire wildly my entire clip into the sky. Ow. 
Thank you. You're welcome. There's also, another one over to the right, I believe. No, I already got him. You got him? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> another funny thing that I like to joke about in this game is uh, whenever you clear all the enemies in a room, it'll play a single guitar string. It lets you know that they're all gone, and it's so... Uh, here's another cog tag. So silly. Really? Yep. That's well, okay. Why did I not see a single one of these my entire way through the first time? <laughs> the first time uh, Silas over here... Um, played this game, he did not find a single cog tag, which is kind of hard to believe. Even when they told me one was sitting right there, yeah. I was like, what? Where? I don't see it. Is that you? Get behind something. I'm behind you, pal. Oh, yeah, that works. I'll just be a bullet monkey for you. Well, there are a bunch of bullet monkeys. Okay, fine. Just, just go kill him. I need a shotgun. you. As you may have already noticed, this is an incredibly heavy cover-based game. Yeah, this... If you don't take cover, you're kind of screwed. Which and is what you just melee... love not to do. <laughs> <laughs> melee is not your best option. Unless you have the Lancer, which has a chainsaw as a bayonet. Yeah. The most, like, macho thing you could think of for a gun. Alright, so you see here we have what are called a King Raven. It's the helicopter. It's how you pretty much get around everywhere. You're going to come to find that basically 9 out of 10 ravens get shot out of the sky. I have no idea why a pilot would, would want to fly these things. This right here is a corpser. I like corpsers. You get to see how hopelessly this war outmatched. This is being fought. <laughs> yeah, how, how hopeless this war is. Apparently, it's lasted for 14 years so far. Yeah. E-Day is when... The locusts, as they're called, these alien-like creatures, arose from beneath the earth and tried to take it back. Correction, it's not Yeah, that's earth. right. It's not it's earth. It's actually Sarah. It's actually this random planet called Sarah. We're not sure if it's another planet that the humans colonized or if it's another universe. Like, it's a completely different universe than the one we live in. I saw online where that, that uh, Epic Games, the maker, mentioned that basically Sarah is Earth. There's humans Maybe. evolved on Sarah basically from what they've said on uh, what was it? Epic uh, based on what they released. So That was just some random internet guy though. Who yeah, knows what yeah, okay, he's talking about. Guy. So we don't know. But they do talk a lot about how the human race is close to extermination if we lose this war. So that leads us to believe that either Earth has been destroyed or is no longer livable in, and this is the last bit of humanity, or something like that. Whatever the case, your man's last chance for the survival of the species. You, like you, doesn't deserve to wear the uniform. Do you know what Marcus's backstory is? Um, he does something to save his father, and it didn't work out. He, he was unable to save his father, and he went against orders to do it. So they called him a traitor and threw him in prison. Yeah. Sensors are picking up enemy movements, sir. Close I by. believe that's what, what happened. I don't know exactly. And here's Anya. She's literally the only girl in this entire game that you will ever see. I was going to say, she's not the only one in the series. No. I believe in Gears of War 3. Well, no. There's it, another one. It, yep, she hops out of the chopper and gets another right one back in. in there's another one in 2. Is there? There's at least another one. Like, I was thinking there was another, like, commander that took over for her. <clears throat> But also, there's what's his face's wife, oh. which is yeah. kind of a stretch. But Dominic, like down for the cutscenes here. <laughs> That's why we need the resonator. Watch the side, you missed. It'll map their tunnel so that we can hit those sons of bitches where Got they one. live. Clear. 
But the lieutenant here will be feeding you yes, with sir. And the smart thing to do right now would be to leave. You, get it done! So, you want to kind of summarize what they just talked about there? Alright, basically what's going on, Locust burrowed up from the underground. And they have all these tunnels underneath every human city on Sarah, which is the name of this planet, if you didn't hear that from earlier. And what we're looking for is what's called a resonator that will supposedly <clears throat> ra or map those tunnels. So that way we can hit them, hit the... Locust. The locust where it will hurt them most, basically. With this thing called a light mass bomb, which is kind of like a guided nuke, multi-missile nuke, yeah. torpedo things. <laughs> it's it's really weird. I'm not even sure how it works. Because it's one of the weirdest looking explosions I've ever seen. Here you get to see firsthand the chainsaw. It's very satisfying to kill a locust with one of these. And you see this red gear sign again. Once well, again, we already got the cog tag here, I think. Yeah, but it's, it still pops up. Does it? Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, that sign does. So I guess well, I was the right about it. Well, is still it. here. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I got a Lancer. I didn't even know that. <laughs> I'll go ahead and pick that up. Remember, every time you see one of those red things, you're going to find a cog tag. Yeah. It's not necessarily right next to it, but it will be in the immediate area. Yeah. Here's some ammo. That you're just gonna take, thanks. Yeah, you're welcome. Come here. <laughs> I need ammo. Well, not really. I need ammo. Hey, look, there's another generic ammo box. <laughs> this is just a little ADD moment, as you can see. Yeah, apparently they're called locust grubs. No, it's just these, the um, soldier ones are called grubs or drones. It's just so they can classify each type. Yeah. You know, because you got the big corpse or. And then you have things called Nemesis, and then you have Cedars, there's all kinds of them, just so they know what to classify them as over the radio. So they just said Locust, they would have no idea what they're talking about. Yeah, that's true. I think drones are the appropriate term, and grubs is the slang used by the gears here. The gears are what you are, you're, you're a gear of war. I don't know if you guys saw what I just did, I, that's actually a glitch. Oh, did you do the chainsaw thing? Yeah, where it lets you chainsaw them and then die for cover. It's, it's pretty nifty. Glitch. It's pretty helpful because if you notice with those chainsaw animations, they take up a lot of time where someone could shoot you while you're chainsawing one of their buddies. Thankfully, they make it where you're invulnerable while you're chainsawing, but once you get out of it, you're well, kind of screwed. I just got a headshot with a hammer burst, I'm pretty sure. Oh, I told you. No, you didn't. Oh, no, it's not. Never mind. The locust or the AI system in this is actually pretty cool because as you advance, they tend to retreat. Or if you don't advance, they will. They will typically. come after you. See, so there you go again, moving around. The hat. Once you saw right here, what I'm standing on is the remnants of an emergence hole. Uh, that's where the locusts come up from. Yeah, they spawn there. That's like a. Yeah, and if you that's, toss a that's... grenade in them, it kills them automatically. And it plugs up the hole. Up, and it plugs the hole. But, um, yeah, that's their explanation for how they spawn. They, they come up through these holes that the game generates. And you can either throw a grenade and plug it up prematurely, or you can kill so many of them and it'll just plug itself up. Oh, you get to see a curb snot. Rev, rev the chain. Uh, I'm down. I couldn't rev it. Get to see a what? Curb stomp. Oh, God. Oh, he just... Aim for the crotch. <laughs> That's their weak point. As is anything. Well, this, uh, Lou, whatever this guy's name is. Kim. Kim. Asian dude. Um, yeah, that's his name. He's the guy who's in charge of your squad. Yeah, he's the lieutenant, I believe. I think that's what he is. I, I know I saw that. I know I saw 
no them mentioned a lieutenant. I'm not sure if that was Anya or him, though. Lieutenant Anya. Yeah, Anya's the lieutenant. Okay, he must be captain, I possibly? think he's sergeant. No, your Phoenix is sergeant. Um, Who knows? Okay, so, yeah, open the door, please. Thank you. The way you open doors in this game is you either okay, hit okay. it down with your ridiculously oversized thigh muscles, or you get what your little floating robot called Jack to, um, to rip the door, as they say. Yeah, or he just uses a... Um, a welder to rip it open, kind of thing. I'm down again. You're always down. Big Baby, surprise. Are you down, 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 down. No, I'm not. <laughs> Scratch it. I'm not down. Just leave me here. As long as you don't sing. Wow. I couldn't get this glitch to work last time I played this game, but it's really working very well now. Gotta love the chainsaw. Yeah. Very helpful. It's such a pleasing weapon. Pleasing weapon. It pleasures me greatly. I'm sure it does. <laughs> All right, so you get to see me prematurely plug a hole here. Oh, hello. Yeah, you plug that oh, hole hello. good. Hello. All right, I'll get it. Oh, you got it. Yeah, I okay. got it. You just kept saying hello to, to people. Down. I wasn't sure if you're gonna ever throw it. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Well, hello. I have to greet them. They're coming in. Welcome to the world. You gotta get right there. Oh, he he, he gave me a good whopping. Oh, he's gonna get me. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Let me, let me re let me heal a little bit and I'll jump you out can there and shoot get you. Without looking out. I know, but it never hits. Oh uh, yeah, it does. Barely, unless they're like right next to you. Well, pick me up. No, that's not what I want to do. Get him up, please. I'm going down. There we go. Oh yeah. A little bit close. There's the guitar string. Bow. I don't think it's a guitar. I hope that's the It's the sound of the guitar. For some reason, when you crouch, you run faster. Oh yeah, a crouch run, a butt when run. When do you want to um, end this episode? Uh, well, it could be Alpha. Dog tags are gone. Did he just say Is dog tags? Cog. I know he's. I know it says cog, but I could have sworn he just said now dog. What? Let's get that resonator. Well, that's the beauty of the English language. You have things like va ba da ga. What do you think? Ba ba da ba ga you. <laughs> it could be Alpha, or it could be the locust setting a trap. There's only one way to know for sure. Our next target is House of Sovereigns. Straight ahead. Move. Carmine is so cute. I love his helmet. And on that note, <laughs> uh, it's probably a good place to end off. Um, next episode, we will try and take out that mounted turret that's just blowing us apart. So we'll see you guys then.